Hi, it's Peter again with a quick video to demonstrate uh, voice journals, voice memos, and also um, some thing on the shortcuts feature that I didn't show you in the last video. So anyway, let me show you something else um, on the pro on the um, widget. Now you've got the current profile is listed there on the second line, so it's kind of handy to see which profile you're in if you're on the main screen. So if you plug in your wired headset or whatever, it'll switch to wired headset, or if you have it in car mode, you'll see it's in car mode. So anyway, that's kind of handy. Uh, let me show you how to create one of these uh, voice memos. So the first thing you have to do is basically just prefix your memo or note request with the word voice. Uh, let me demonstrate. Yes, Peter. New voice memo to-do list. New voice memo. Go ahead. This is my to-do list for Friday, um, so whatever I needed to have, I could just put this in my little voice memo here, and the number of seconds that it records for is adjustable in the um, in the settings there, in the new mem memo section of the settings, and of course, obviously, you can cancel a memo just by tapping on that cancel button, or you can complete it by tapping here. So let me finish this one. Your voice memo has been saved. And if you're using um, Evernote, which I have it set up to use right now, that note gets saved over to Evernote as it would before, but the audio file gets attached to that. Uh, if you're using the Evernote um, app on your phone, you can play that audio file directly. Um, but through Windows right now, you can't play that, that audio file just because of the format. And if I discover a format that works on both, then I'll switch to that format. Um, Anyway, so you can do also a journal entry. So let me try something like this. And you see, when I put to-do list after at the end there, that's basically adding the title of what, what the voice memo is going to be. If you don't specify that, if you just said voice memo, it'll ask you for the title. So the same with a journal entry. So um, I'll try a journal entry now, and we'll see how that goes. Yes, Peter. Voice journal. Please tell me the title of the new voice journal entry you would like to make. Friday afternoon. New voice journal entry. Go ahead. So it's Friday afternoon and I'm creating a new demo video to show some of the, the new features with voice memos and voice journal, journal entries with uh, Eva and AVX. So let's see how this one goes. Your voice journal entry has been saved. Okay, so when it's saved, then you say, okay, I want to see what my memos are. Whatever. So let's just do the memos first. Yes, Peter. Display my memos for today. Again, it's retrieving that from Evernote. You have the following memos for today. Okay, so you see these new audio ones, it has in parentheses there the word audio to say that it's an audio memo and you see the title there. So there's a couple that I created just a little while ago. And then there's the last one there. So you can basically tap on one of these. This is my to-do list for Friday. Um, so whatever I needed to have, I could just put this in my little voice memo here. And, then and you can tap on any of the other entries in the display there and that will pause it. You can also tap on the item itself and that will pause it and, re and replay it. So if it's, if it's paused and I tap sort of not on the on the slider bar there but on the actual item itself. Number of seconds that it records for. You see that plays it and pause it and when it's paused I can drag it around here and it'll play from wherever I leave so it. Whatever I needed to have I could just put this in my little uh, voice can also memo tap here, cancel a memo to jump to a certain on spot. Button, or you can complete it in there. my little voice memo here and the number of seconds that it records for is adjustable in and if you want to if you want to drag it around you should kind of pause it first um, it's kind of tricky on the Android to put a slider in a list like this um, and that's why I've had to sort of do it the way I do it there you can't just sort of have it playing and grab it and slide it that doesn't work you can if it's playing you can tap in a new spot on the slider or you can tap on it or another one to pause it and then once it's paused you can slide it back and forth and then it'll keep playing again and if you switch to a different one it'll start playing so that one my to -do list for Friday. and if you go back to the other one 
the um, it'll the continue playing where you left it. Memo section of the settings, and of course, obviously, you can cancel the memo just by tapping on. So that's kind of neat because if you have two different memos that you're, you know, to-do list memos that you're kind of working off of the things that you've, you know, said that you wanted to do, um, you can switch between a couple of them, and it'll just basically keep you where you were, so you don't have to play it from the start all the time. So and that will work with as many as you have there, which is kind of neat. Because often maybe you might be in the car and you might say, you know, new voice memo and start dictating it. And um, then, you know, at the end of the day, you start playing back these memos and you want to, you know, switch between the two or three that you've created and not have to, um, you know, listen to them exactly from the start every time. That's kind of handy. So that's kind of how that works. And it's the same displaying your journals and playing the journals back again. It's really easy to play them back. So the other thing I want to show you was last time, the last video, I showed you doing uh, shortcuts, and I showed you sh shortcuts for the buttons on on um, car mode, and I also showed you doing a shortcut to one of the Android things, like I think it was the battery, the battery display. But I want to show you how to create a shortcut from Eva to within something in Eva. So say for example, you've got that new function now, um, battery, where it gives the battery status. Um, say you wanted to create your own phrase so when you said that phrase it basically executed the battery function and let's just say I want to be able to say are you charged up and it'll respond and do the battery function so let's let's set that up and I'll show you how to do it yes captain create a new shortcut Select the application and enter any required parameters for this new shortcut. Okay, so I choose Eva. Please say the request phrase that you would normally ask me that will be assigned to this Android shortcut. For example, what's the weather? Or say cancel. Battery. Please choose the exact phrase you want for the shortcut. What is the phrase you would like to use to access this shortcut? This will be what I listen for when you ask me to open it. Try to keep it short and be something that you will easily remember. Are you charged up? Please choose the best match for this shortcut. Your new shortcut is now ready to use. Okay, so now I can... Are you... Now I can do that and uh, we'll see how it works. Yes, Peter. Are you charged up? Battery is at 71%. So you can see there, basically substituted it right in. Um, it didn't even show on the screen there that I said, are you charged up? Well, it did for a second, but it immediately replaced it with battery and it runs that function. So um, using this, if any type of phrase that you wanted to do, um, you could create a shortcut for that and assign it to whatever phrase you want. So for example, another example might be if you were creating a voice memo to-do list just like I did before, um, you would basically set up the shortcut and the, the command, the first command would be voice memo to-do list and when it asks you what you wanted to say for that, you could you know say banana banana or whatever you wanted to do and so later on when you said banana banana that would automatically do a voice memo called to-do list so basically allows you all sorts of flexibility to create your own custom phrases to do the functions that are in there so uh, there's just so many different ways of doing stuff now it's getting a little out of hand <laughs> and also in this version I've uh, made some performance improvements things are a lot slicker when you're scrolling through the list here and I also updated um, the uh, when you're looking up businesses it uh, adjusts the font size to that now to suit whatever font size you've chosen and likewise in the buttons in uh, in car mode the font on that is adjusted based upon the font size that you have um, selected in the main screen just so things sort of fit better so anyway I hope you like all these new features please keep telling all your friends help spread the word I'm just absolutely just on a mission now to completely blow away the competition with all these new features and uh, I think I'm, I mean, well ahead of them right now. But it just it's the exposure I need. I need everybody to keep telling their friends. Anyway, until next time. Thanks.